So what's going on guys, Ryobox here and welcome back to some more Ride for Career mode where we're now 35 cups off of the World League and we're progressing nicely and today we're going to be checking out the Supermotos for the very first time on Ride 4. So let's give it a go. Um, I can't wait to progress to the Superbikes League here as part of the World League, that'll be fun. We're just 224 points off, so a few more episodes to go. A few more of these groups will get under our belt and then, uh, yeah, we'll be able to get in and try out some super bikes, some um, race modified machines, that'll be fun. But first of all, we've got the super moto to get into here and that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. So I'm going to get in, we're going to buy a bike. No, I don't want to spend loads of money on a bike, they're all pretty similar and they're all similarly priced really. The Yamaha is really expensive. Um, now I kind of want to go for the Kawasaki um, KX450, nice little bike, let's get ourselves that 40k, not too expensive, and when you think about the price of some of the other bikes, very affordable on this game, so we'll get in, and this is very much a, a sort of like a supercross motocross bike with slick tyres, obviously a few more differences than that but they are based on that style of bike so yeah let's get in let's do this bike i do want to upgrade it slightly though because i noticed that the other bikes have a little bit more power so if we can get in and upgrade the power then i will do putting the engine kit on is going to bring it up to this almost the 63 horsepower we need um to sort of be on par with the the Yamaha bike so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spend 8k on the bike I'm gonna invest it now that'll help us out and that should be good that's all I'm gonna do really I'm not gonna change anything don't have any other liveries either but let's get in let's do this bike use this one and we're heading out to Virginia the south course for this for the first time in the supermoto class it's gonna be an interesting one lights are about to go out then and we're away five laps around this short course let's see how we get on let's see if we can stick with them come on pick up a little bit of slipstream chuck it into turn number one cool so close to making contact with that german guy in second place or the woman erica getting back alongside and we're gonna try and head or to the back of erica bit deep again into turn four a blind apex there ever so slight time penalties we get on the grass now these bikes need a pretty different riding style so i'm gonna have to adapt to that quick up the inside at turn seven job them right let's see if we're chasing down we've got five laps so plenty of time to sort of learn the circuit get to grips with the bike and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to push on for that victory. Around the final corner. See, they take a much tighter line and it pays off at the exit, so I need to make sure I do that next time. Let's go after them then. Pick up some slipstream, might get a little bit of a distant toe, but the gap's about 0.7. So let's see if we can work to close that down now. Coming up to this blind apex, I'm going to remember to break this time. Take a better line through there, basically glued to the back of Erica Verns. Erica Verns, let's see if we can pronounce that right. Not able to close down massively. But like I say, we've got five laps, so we're building on it. The the Aussie in the lead is sort of trying to plow on a little bit, isn't he? You can see he's trying to pull away, but I'm not gonna let that happen. The guy's behind, about 1.6 behind, so. That rear tyre is so hot as well. <laughs> it really is hot. There we go. Three laps to go then. The gap is six tenths, so we close down a little bit. I mean, we're not making any major inroads. I'm trying, I'm trying. Getting breaking as we dip down into four, into five. Around turn six. Let's see if we can blast after them. To be honest, Erica looks like she's pulled up to the back of the the Aussie in the lead. So she's putting on the pressure. 
I'm not going any quicker than the laps I've already set. But then battling up the road will help us out. Here we go, then last two corners. Again, I just can't get the line right through there and it's costing me time. So we're going to have two laps to go, but this time the gap's at just under a second. So we've lost a little bit of time there. Keep on going though. Half a second under our sort of personal best time. Very much struggling to close the gap, but we're right on the back of them now. This should be a better run on this lap. We've only got one more lap left. If you want to try and get the win. Let's go. Looks like this Charlie guy is under pressure for the lead. He's got two people behind him trying to get through. Good little run here. Extra power from our upgraded Kawasaki because it looks like they're on just stock Kawasaki's. Let's see if we go for this wider line that they're raving about. And it is the better line, of course. Oh my god, someone's right behind me. Where's he come from? Where's this guy come from? We're all being held up by the leader now. Here we go, slipstream. She's stuck to the outside. I'm going to the inside. I would take that. Lovely stuff. Into the lead on the final lap then. Let's see if we can push on. Better run through there. Got a slight penalty to deal with too. But this guy seems to be holding them up. So I will take that. We're very wide there. Knocking over all the cones. Flipping out, man. <laughs> Jeez. Let's get back in the lead. Not long to go. And they're right on the back of us. Just the last two corners or so. And it's all about our exit. Which I haven't been brilliant at. But we should be well over a tenth in front to take the lead then and take the win in our opening round and I am interested to see whether this group will give us a free bike because if it uh, if it does then <laughs> we need to make sure we get the free bike because I'm after, all after getting bikes and stuff so let's, let's just have a quick look before we get into the next yes a Suzuki Katana. So it looks like a new, uh, new naked bike. So we're going to have to try and win every single race here. So to do that, oh, I think I'm going to upgrade the bike again. Um, tires. Don't really do anything. Just different types of moto tires. Exhaust. He could spend a little bit of money. Get a nice new exhaust. These ones look like the stock ones, but yeah, we'll go. We'll go for this exhaust. Five grand, a little bit more power. Brakes. Uh, I'm not that interested in doing brakes. That'll do. All right, Supermoto round two. Then let's see how we get on. Slightly wet track. Looks like it is dry conditions though, so it will dry up the surface of the track. So let's see how we get on. Oh, crash here to turn number one. Three riders down. This guy getting a little twitch on. And with our extra power, we can make it up into P2 right now. Just about. Oh no, he's going to do us around the outside. Definitely a lack of grip. But anyway, finally... This new exhaust seems to have given us a bit of an advantage down the straights. But, uh, yeah, we get overtaken <laughs> as you run deep there. So let's see if we can pull something. No, what's he doing? Pull something nice together then. Again, we've got five laps around here. So let's see how we get on into the final corner. Good run. I mean... I don't think these guys will have updated their bikes, upgraded their bikes, sorry, but I haven't. We've got an extra, like, over 10 horsepower on the stock Kawasaki, so down the straights. We should have the advantage, really. You can see, just coming out of the corners, we've got the slight advantage with power. This guy should better through the corners, so it's going to be a close race, I think. Circuit's starting to dry up. Look at that dry line through this corner, especially... Around the final corner then. Let's see if we can get a decent run and close this guy down. I need to change my helmet as well for the Supermoto class. I haven't done any of that. Any rider customization for the Supermotos. But we're gaining on him. 
I've just got to hook up a better lap this time just to try and stick with him. He was much better through a lot of the corners than us. So we've sort of struggled around here, to be honest. It's what we like to see. Track getting drier too, so it should all play into our advantage. I'm pretty slow around this turn four compared to them. Oh, the AI just closed up like crazy there. Still four turns under our time. Gap's now two and a half seconds. The guy's really pulling out in the lead. To be honest, I think I'm holding this pack up behind. We could probably wave goodbye to the win here today. Gonna have to settle for second place. So I'm gonna have to come back and do this event and get the win if we want that free bike. Luckily, it's a bike which I'm not that interested in, but it would probably help us. This guy's still pulling away, and I still can't get some of these corners right. I don't know if it's my riding style or what, but I mean, that was a little bit better, but we just got caught up with wheel spin holding us back. Just the final tournament to go, and then we're going to be on the final lap, but the leader's pulled out 3.6 seconds. We've got almost two tenths of a time penalty, so that's not ideal. Supermoto then struggling at this race. We did all right out of at North America in the first race of the episode. But here in Japan, seem to be struggling. I don't know if it's the conditions that have dried up that are making us struggle, but I just can't get any heat into these tyres. Look at this guy coming at us. He's trying to come back at us around the penultimate corner. Got to get two tenths of a time penalty lead. Come on. Blast out of there. And head for the line. Five tenths. Clear. That should be enough. Nice one. Nicely does it. And second place then. So we're not quite getting the win we need. But 20 points nonetheless, a nice haul of points. 7k, we're not getting many coins from these races. <laughs> not like some of the other groups. So let's head into the next round then, which is going to be Autumn Park. See how we get on there. Right then, looks like we've got a time attack to do now then. So let's see how we get on rather than a race. Good chance for us to test out our performance. In a timed event, 107.4 for the gold. So 107.4 is the time to beat. And that will get us 20 points. 109 flat. And we'll get 16 points. But I'm really not feeling a lot of confidence in the bike. If I can get a silver medal, I would take that. Only a short circuit. But hopefully the extra power on our Kawasaki should help us out. Up and over the hill we go then. Maxing out about 108 miles per hour. Not quite reaching 110. Let's see if we can reach 110 round here. Got a leg out from the rider trying to stabilise the bike. Here we go then hurtling towards the final corner. On the brakes into the final corner. Take a nice tight line on the power and then blast for the line. 107.4 is the time to beat. Can we beat it on the opening lap? Yes, we can. Look at that. Better than I expected. Better than I expected. I'll take that. That's not bad at all. Gold medal there from us. 10 grand for doing one lap. <laughs> Compared to a five lap race where we didn't get much at all. all right then, two more races then. Uh, one more to get the thing really so we can head back to Okayama this time the weather will be clear so let's let's give it a try shall we head to Okayama maybe we'll do better this time in the dry maybe that'll help us out maybe it's a psychological thing don't really know to be honest we'll find out though Okayama international circuit then let's go racing then see how we get on should get a decent launch to be honest let's go racing then see if we get a decent launch I'm going to be aggressive from the start if we can get into the lead and control the pace and just sort of back everyone up we might be able to take the win there's a big if got a big task to get into the lead here we go let's see if we get past the Spaniard not quite able to Oh, someone flying up our inside. The AI very aggressive on the Supermoto bikes. 
we might even not even be able to get into P2. And then lap number one, then what's the gap? It's about a second. So let's see if we can catch up to these guys. Someone's going for the lead. Look at that, he's going for the lead early on. And he has taken the lead as well. Let's see if we can close them down. Six and a half tenths off. These are run around there. Seven tenths off or so. Sort of closing down a bit on this lap, but it's these few corners here I can't seem to get right. It's all about the line. You can't go wide or else you'll lose a whole heap of time. We lost f half a second through that section of corners there. Again, we've got five laps though, so maybe we can get something out of this. About a second off. Here we go then, blasting for turn number one. Another change in the race lead. These guys racing is going to help us to catch up. I think I need second place in order to get enough points to get the cup here today. If not, we have to do the final race. What's the gap? Eight tenths. So we do sort of start to close down. Right then, what's the gap as we end lap number three? Only two laps left, and I'm struggling the second half of the lap to catch up. About four tenths under our previous time, but another swap in the lead of this race. Who's going to get the, the win? Is it going to be Spain or Portugal? Who's going to get the win here? It's not going to be Britain, I'll tell you that. Maybe they'll knock each other off or something. Maybe we can build something for the final lap. That's a better lap from us. It's still right behind us though. So going to be another change in the lead. Looks like that might be into turn number one. It's very much slow and fast out with these bikes. We're on the final lap then. Closing right in. Maybe we'll be able to pounce. I'm going to go for it up the inside. Come on. Bit of a block pass there. Get the job done. Oh, the Mexican behind's got through into P2 now. Can we get the win? I doubt it because we're a bit slow out of that court. Blast for the line then. We've got about a tenth of a time penalty to deal with. But there's going to be no issues here. Cross the line for P2. That should be the cup then. The Supermoto Cup. At least one of them. But yeah, struggling around here at Okayama again. Just can't quite hook it up. Doesn't suit us. But we managed to take second place. Salvage something from that, which is good. Pleased with that. 7.7k, not brilliant, but <laughs> oh well. We've got the cup just about by one point. So there we go. Another cup in the bank. 34 to go. <laughs> 34 to go. Had I have not struggled at two of the events, I'd have gone for the, the gold in everything, but we're going to struggle, and next episode we're going to have to take on a new group, which I don't know what it's going to be, because we're 39 points off of the 750 stock cup. Uh, it might have to be the lightweights or something, so I'll decide anyway between now and the next episode what we'll do. But for now, if you guys did enjoy, remember to smash that like button, share it around with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe for plenty more Ride 4 content and MotoGP career mode. So we'll see you in the